What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. So today's video is a little bit different. I was actually going to do a video today, but I thought I would do this instead. This is some advanced Caitlyn tricks and also some late game combinations for Lucian now that he's back a little bit. And also showing you why he's back, like why the animation buffs were actually so important. This is a video that a lot of people have asked me to do many times because I always say that Caitlyn's the most mechanically intensive champion you can play and Lucian's probably second on that list actually. It's actually pretty hard to play late game. We're going to start with Caitlyn then go to Lucian afterwards. And the first thing with Caitlyn is actually placing a trap directly after your auto attack so you're cancelling your auto attack animation with a trap the thing is like in a team fight you really do want to place your traps because if someone accidentally steps on them it is a ton of damage the headshot late game is ridiculous it bypasses a lot of armor as well so it's even more important the problem is though it's going to lower your overall dps because you're not going to be able to auto attack and place traps so the solution is to auto attack instantly into a trap and you're actually not losing any damage as you can see in this clip though the second one like i'm trying to do this in a team fight situation so i'm not actually going to lose anything I'm going to kite between them. I'm not losing any damage, but I'm still able to put the trap down on the target. I can even put the traps down on myself to protect myself as well. This is a really key thing about playing Caitlyn in team fights. If you're not doing this, you're losing a lot of potential damage and you really need to get in the habit of it. So just auto attack. As soon as your auto attack finishes, the animation finishes, instantly use your trap and cancel it. It might take a little bit of practice. It's really important though, and I don't see enough Caitlyn players doing this. Like it is one of the key things you need to be doing. So that's the first advanced thing with Caitlyn you need to get used to, but let's move on to a combo so the basic combo that most people use anyway is net into q so eq right you're going to use your q as you're flying through the air with your net backwards this is a nice thing especially early you should always auto attack before your net though so it should be auto eq auto afterwards with the headshot from the net now this is the more advanced version of that combination so if they're in range of your net they're actually in range of your trap as long as they're not at max range so pretty much all the time they are just like you can cast your q in your net animation you can actually cast your trap in your net animation as well so what you can do is you can auto attack net trap and you're going to get two headshots afterwards one from the net and one from the trap i'm doing this on screen now you might not be able to see the traps actually unless you pay really close attention because they're directly under the dummies but all i'm doing is pressing e and then w basically straight away together and i'm going to be placing that trap directly underneath the person this is absolute ton of damage at late game especially remember your net is going to slow as well so it's actually really hard to dodge that trap if you place it directly underneath them and you're actually going to get probably three headshots out of this if you have a headshot to start with on your normal auto attack it's going to be headshot then net then trap then it's going to be the headshot from the net the headshot from the trap and obviously they're going to be rooted in place as well so you can carry on battering them this combination is pretty advanced it takes some practice but nobody is going to expect it to start with it's a ton of damage and it can actually win you games it's one of those awkward things where the trap is a lot of damage but it's really awkward to land on people but this is an easier way to make sure that in team fights you're at least getting some trap damage off if we just summarize that very quickly you should always be cancelling your auto attack with a trap in a team fight so it should be auto instantly into your W and you won't actually lose any DPS or anything because your W casts between attacks. As you can see with practice as well, like on screen now, you can't really even tell that I'm placing the traps because I'm cancelling my auto attack animation with the trap and I'm cancelling the trap animation with my auto attack. It sounds kind of complicated, but basically I'm getting the trap in there for free and a ton of extra headshot damage. The other combination we talked about was the auto attack EQ for a lot of damage, which is really good early, but in late game team fights, you don't really want to be using your Q anymore because it doesn't do as much damage as your auto attack. So that's when we go for our E into to our trap instead. The E-trap one is insane. Not many people know this, not many people expect it, but it adds a ton of damage onto Caitlyn. So let's move on to Lucian, and the first thing I'm gonna show you is the Q animation change that was the recent buff to Lucian. So this is where actually, like early, your Q animation takes longer than late game. You can see how quick it actually gets on the screen, and late game, there's basically no chance to really dodge it at all, which is good because we're not gonna lose any damage like that, but it also means faster combos, and it just feels a lot better and more clean, I guess. Just to make it a bit easier to see what I mean, this is the level 1 Lucian Q animation and now I'm going to put on screen the level 18 Q animation which is much much quicker. So that's what the recent change actually means in game but now we're going to go into some specific combo stuff for Lucian. So this is like late game combos how you should be playing him. This is really important by the way if you're not doing this you're losing a ton of damage and you're also not going to be really maximizing his potential I guess but it is quite difficult. Now the first thing to go over very quickly is you should be cancelling every single auto attack with a spell. So you should be going auto attack spell and then auto attack afterwards. This is just examples of what I mean very quickly, but it should always be auto attack into Q, auto attack into W, auto attack into E if you can do, because you're going to be getting that extra auto worth of damage. It's also really good practice because you'll need to be using your passive shots, so you auto attack in between every single ability, and it gets pretty quick as well. The other thing that's really important to remember with Lucian is your E cooldown reduces with the amount of passive shots you fire out. Really, you need four passive shots to get the E cooldown back up late game again, so that means two abilities, including your E. What this means is you want to 
weave your E in between your other abilities. So it should always be Q, E, W, for example, and then E again, or it should be W, E, Q, E. It shouldn't really be ever Q and W together. As we just kind of said, there are two ways of doing Lucian's combo really in late game team fight for optimal damage. It's either going to be Q, E, W, E, or it's going to be W, E, Q, E. So I'm going to show you both of them and what they look like. Remember, you should always be weaving your auto attacks in here. So it should always be auto into Q, then auto attack for your passive shots into your E, then auto again, then W, then auto, then E again. This is really why he's so hard late game. Like these combos look very clean on screen and stuff, but you're going to be actually canceling your auto attack animation with a spell and canceling your spell animation with an auto attack. That is why it's so hard because you're repeating that over and over with every ability. This one on screen is probably the most common one, which is where you start with your Q. Number one, because your Q is a big source of damage. So you actually want to get that off cooldown as soon as possible. So using it first is better. And also number two, because it's just the easiest way of doing it. Like your Q animation is a lot easier to cancel than your W1. So most players will probably opt for this anyway. So the actual combination is the auto attack first into Q, auto attack into E, and then auto attack into a W, and then auto attack, and then it resets your E cooldown. So you can use that again and auto afterwards. At the end of that combo, you can then use your ultimate while you're waiting for your Q to come back up. Because by the time your ultimate has finished, firstly, you've stacked your fervor. So that's increasing your ultimate damage. But secondly, then your Q is going to come off cooldown and then your E is going to come off cooldown again. And so you can start the rotation again. This next one is just going to be the other way of doing it. So it'll be auto attack into W, then auto attack into E, then auto attack into Q, auto attack into E again, and using your ultimate to finish that off and then repeat afterwards. Like it's not as clean. It's not as good as your Q, but sometimes you have to do it anyway. We kind of already mentioned this part on screen with the Q stuff, using your ultimate as a finisher, waiting for your cooldowns to come back up and then using them again to do another rotation. This really is your kill combo though, how you should really play it in late game team fights to just annihilate one person as quick as possible. So hopefully this gives you some stuff to practice. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of bonus video. Thank you very much for watching. But for now, let's go to the robots.